I'm Andrea Calle. We're here in Authority MMA, and today I have Eddie Alvarez. That he's here with his son. Eddie, how are you? Good. <laughs> I was asking you a little while ago. So you train and also do soccer. What else do you do? Um, that's basically it. That's the only sport I play, and I just train at the gym when I go. Are you gonna be a fighter like Daddy? Um, I'm undecided with being a fighter or a soccer player. I like that. Which one is your favorite soccer player? Um, Messi from Argentina. I like Messi as well. I like Cristiano Ronaldo and James Rodriguez. And um, who's your favorite fighter? My dad. Daddy? <laughs> Eddie, well, we finally have you inside the UFC. Uh, what's, I mean, Donald Cerrone, big fight for you. Uh, UFC 178. What are we expecting from this fight? You know, uh, I, I, I've been saying it all along the last two years. I want to be involved in big fights where the fans are biting their nails and saying, I don't know what the hell is going to happen here. So just big fights where, where millions of people are watching and people just, they're at the edge of their seat. And this is one of them fights. This is one of them fights. It's at the MGM Grand, September 27th. And uh, you got two of the top rated lightweights with some of the highest finishing ratios in all the sports so what more can you ask for well we've all, it's always been a hype about eddie going into the ufc uh we've seen a lot of, like, like, for instance hector lombard you know bellator champion for such a long time moving to the ufc and the hype he didn't at the beginning wasn't what we expected um we're looking at the same thing with you you've been you dominated bellator it's all your contract how is it going to be inside the UFC, or why do you think that, you know, the difference between Bellator and UFC in those cases? I just, I think that, I, I've been doing this 11 years, I've traveled the world, I've, I've been champion, I've lost my championship belt, I've gained, I've gained a ton of experience that I, I, I highly doubt that, um, that I'm just going to step in the cage and just forget everything that I know. Uh, it's really hard for me to believe in that, so... You know, fans say, oh, you, you know, you get on them lights and UFC. I, I'm just not buying it. So, um, you know, until I get there, I'll know. But I, I just, I'm not buying it. I, I'm too comfortable in the cage. I've experienced too much. And um, for me, it's just going to be like a normal day at the gym. I, I, I really feel that way. And you're going to see the best, the best Eddie Alvarez you've seen. Have you seen, actually, now that you mentioned, have you seen any changes from you know, the move from Bellator to UFC, maybe in media, in coverage, or any changes in training, anything that you feel that has been different? Yeah, it, a, lot, a lot more coverage, you know, a lot more, uh, a lot more people talking about it. They, from the promotional standpoint, you know, they really, they really know how to, uh, they really know how to let fans be aware of what's going on. Uh, so fans know that I'm fighting Donald Cerrone on September 27th. And, you know, that's, for me, that's the most important thing because uh, we can put on a hell of a fight. We can put on the fight of the year. I can knock this guy out, but people got to see it. People got to know, and um, that's what's important to me right now in my career is that all the eyes are on this fight. All the eyes are on me and uh, on my road to become the world champion. We've seen a lot of big uh, fighters now inside Blixillions, your training camp. How is it going for you, and uh, what, is, what can we see this, for this training camp with Don Cerrone? You know, they, they talk about the UFC's lightweight division being some of the, the deepest division in all of, in all in every division in the UFC. That's the Black Zanes. We have the deepest lightweight division in, in almost any training camp in, in the world. So uh, just stepping in, in that room, it's a meat grinder in my room every day and how competitive it is. So uh, it just builds great fighters. It builds character. It builds. It, it makes you learn how to deal with adversity on, on an everyday basis. And I, I call it the fast track because once you get in that gym, you're on the fast track to success as long as you use the resources at that gym properly. And um, I'm there. I'm using the resources. I'm taking advantage of everything possible being a Black Zane. So I, I'm happy to be there. I'm lucky to be there and have the coaching that I have. Well, your your mentality, of course, has always been a champion. Uh, the like you said, the 155 division inside the UFC, the champion Anthony Pettis. Uh, you're probably right now are focused on Donald Cerrone, but what are when you go into a cage when you're facing Anthony Pettis? What would be the biggest challenge and probably you know your biggest uh, uh, benefit in front of him? Uh, you know, Pettis, Pettis is a he, he's a great athlete. He does well. He he does a lot of things really good, but. Uh, the thing is, I, I, I honestly feel like in the lightweight division, 
there's different talents. Guys have really good jiu-jitsu, guys have really good stand-up, guys have really good wrestling. I don't gauge fights upon that. A fight is the ability to be able to take damage and give damage, and there is no lightweight in the world who can do that better than myself. And uh, regardless of who's the champion, who's the second guy in line, third guy in line, I'm the guy who can fight the best. I'm the guy who can take damage and give damage like no other. So. Uh, that's what I'm going to do September 27th, and uh, hopefully the fans see it, the promoters see it, and uh, they put me on the fast track to, to whether it's Gilbert or Pettis, let them work things out the way they do it, but uh, I'm coming for somebody. Well, we're all excited. We're looking forward for UFC 178. Eddie Alvarez, can't wait to have you in the cage. I'm excited. Thank you, Eddie, for always taking the time, and we're here in Authority MMA.